Hey guys, it's Coffin here. In this video, I'm going to break down how I replicated this Kurtz Cassart Flash Vector Motion Graphics style all in Blender. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I headed over to their Patreon section on their website and got some reference for the birds. For the animation and background reference, I went over to their YouTube channel and took this scene to replicate. So in Blender I deleted everything and went to the top down view so everything is nice and flat. I activated the import images as planes add on to drag and drop my references in. Then I moved them into a separate collection called reference and added the selectable filter from the outliner panel so I don't accidentally move it. To make the shapes I added a circle from the curves menu. I resized them and subdivided the points and moved the handles to make the shapes and gave it a material and color pick from the reference. If it does not look close to what the color represents in your reference, don't worry about it. Later on when we add the lights, we can take care of it. After making a couple of shapes, I duplicated them and placed them around the scene to match the reference. Make sure you put your assets into separate collections so you don't run into a mess when you move to the next step. After I was done with laying out the scene from the top down view, I moved the shapes in the inside axis to be able to place things in between more easily if necessary. In my earlier tutorial, I made the bird with regular meshes. You can follow that way as well but I found using bezier circles is much more easier to work with and you get much more flexibility and it's less hassle to work with as well. However, for the legs to have this bendy feature, I used a circle and elongated it with loop cut in the middle. You can do this by adding a circle, selecting the middle two vertices and pressing Ctrl Shift plus P to bevel it. Then drag the bottom half of the vertices to get the leg shape. Now select the top two vertices and press F to join them. Do the same for the bottom two vertices as well. Now select all vertices by pressing A on your keyboard and press F to fill the mesh. Now if you go to edit mode you can add edge loops to this middle square which will make it bend along with the bones. I added somewhere between 20 to 30 edge loops depending on how long the leg is. So I made this simple IK rig which I will include in the project files. You can use the same rig or make your own using this Blender Fundamentals tutorial which I will leave a link to in the description below. So with this rig in edit mode, you can move the bones to fit the size of the leg. If you want the leg to bend to one particular side, move the pole target bone in edit mode. Now by placing the 3D cursor at where you want your shape to rotate from, duplicate the middle bone and rotate it to the general direction of the shape. And after you're done with repeating this process for the rest of the shapes, in edit mode, parent the bones to fit the hierarchy of shapes, like the hair, eyes, and the beak should be parented to the neck bone, then the neck bone should be parented to the body bone. Similarly, you can parent the two wing bones and the tail bone to the body as well. Now select the shape, then the armature, and go into post mode. In post mode, select the bone you want to parent it to and press Ctrl plus P to open up the set parent to menu and select bone. You can now repeat this process for the rest of the shapes and bones. Check the rig by going into post mode and moving the bones around to see if it rotates and moves from the right place. When it comes to the legs, select the mesh and the two bendy bones and select the option with automatic weights from the set parent to menu. And now you can repeat this process for the other leg as well. So to make sure there are no unnecessary deformations, select the leg mesh and go to the object data properties tab. Under vertex groups, remove every other bone except for the two bendy bones that were parented to that respective side. After you're done with repeating this process for both sides, double check to see if the rig is working as you want it to. And that's it for the rig. I will include this IK rig setup including these three birds in the project files you can download for free. Here's a huge thanks to Sketchfab for sponsoring this video. 
SketchUp is a super cool site with a huge library of 3D models and assets accessible for everyone. And it's not just that, it allows you to upload, buy and sell all kinds of 3D models easily. So don't forget to check out SketchFab for all your 3D model needs with our link in the description. Now for the animation, I watched a bunch of their videos and got a feel for the style of the animation. After getting the bird rigs ready along with the other elements in the scene, I animated them to roughly match my references. You can scale, rotate and move these elements such as grass, clouds or water ripples to give the scene more life. Make sure you animate it from a drop down view so you don't accidentally move these things in the wrong plane. And after I was done animating the scene, I added one sunlight that was pointed directly at the scene. Under object data properties, I turned the specular all the way to zero and disabled the shadows. This will help get that vector look that Kerskas art videos have. I also went over to the render properties tab and under color management drop down, changed the view transform from filmic to standard. You can also play around with the gamma property if you want the colors to pop out a bit more. To render this, I added a camera directly over the scene and changed the lens type from perspective to orthographic from the object data properties. Now you will get that flat look when you render your scene. Also remember that moving the camera on the z-axis will not have any effect. If you want to zoom in, use the orthographic scale property found under the object data properties of the camera. We'll be using EV as the render engine and for additional render settings, I switched on motion blur. Although Kershka Start videos appear not to have any, I thought it gave a simple boost to the animation. You can choose not to turn this on as well. Finally, I rendered it out as an MP4 from the output settings with the file format FFmpeg video and chose the video encoding MPEG4 and rendered it. So there you have it, a full scene from Kurt Kassad replicated in Blender using simple meshes, IK rigs and Bezier circles. Also don't forget to download the project files, you might learn something new there. Leave a comment with your feedback, share this with someone who you think might be interested in trying these things out and tag us if you make something cool. So a huge thank you to our Patreons over at Patreon. If you can also go support us there, it would be really, really, really helpful. And join our Discord to hang around with like-minded people. We have a lot of things going on there as well. And let us know what you thought about the tutorial. If this, the audio is better this time. If you don't like it, leave a dislike. Hopefully they don't take that feature away. I don't know. Let us know in the comments below uh, what you want to see next. Um, and any other feedbacks or suggestions and stuff. Bye!